I'm gonna show you guys how you use these drones to do pasture ground spraying in areas where it's hard to get into with ground rigs because oftentimes pasture grounds are rolling, it might be rough, it's just uneven and that type of stuff. So I'm just gonna show you a full walkthrough, a full demonstration. Hey, good morning. It's Mike with New Way Ag. I'm going to bring you guys along this morning to do some pasture ground spraying for my brother. He has about four acres, so not a lot, but I want to bring you guys along. If this is your very first time here at the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe. We're going to take the New Way rig. This trailer with two T50s on it. We got a thousand gallon tank on the bottom, 175 gallon induction tank. I'm going to take you guys out here and show you guys how you use these drones to do pasture ground spraying. And I think that that's going to be one of the bigger things that these drones do in areas where it's hard to get into with ground rigs because oftentimes the pasture grounds are rolling, it might be rough, it's just uneven and that type of stuff. So come along and uh, we'll show you how you use these drones to do pasture ground spraying. Let's go. If you guys have been following along the channel, you can see that we're at a new place. This is a, a new, bigger shop that we moved into because of the support that you guys have given us. We had to move into a bigger building so we can have bigger area for more drones and yeah, just provide better customer service. So bigger building and new location, it's been great. We're here, I'm gonna take you up in the field here and show you guys why using a drone on a field like this is going to be the best option to spray this because of how the terrain is. So let's go up here and I'll show you. As you guys can tell, we have the steep hill right here. He doesn't want this tree here. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna leave this in in the boundary and the drone, if, if it would have to go right over here, I don't know if it will for sure but the drone can sense that and climb right up over top, come down the other side spraying it. So it makes it really nice. This is the mint. It smells good, but it's not good for yeah. the pasture. Like the sheep don't eat it, nothing eats it. I'm just gonna show you a full walkthrough, a full demonstration of what it would look like. I have the boundaries for this already, but I wanna show you guys how I do it. We're gonna fly the drone around, build the boundaries. And once you get those built, put the parameters into the drone and then uh, send it out here and get this knocked out. but I wanna show you guys how I build the boundaries. So I'm going to hit add. I'm going to lock the aircraft to the uh, crosshairs. Once that is locked, I can see that by going here. I could you choose aircraft, I don't wanna do that because if I choose aircraft, the drone has to stop every time to drop a pin. So once I select that, I can come in here, select zero because I'm using the crosshair right where the drone is. I'm going to manually fly it out there and drop these pins. So pull up the, the camera view. That is the drone itself. I'm going to engage it and then it's going to take off. You see how I'm dropping points? Where that boundary is, I hit save. I give it a name, hit save again. Now I can come in here, say I want to move this boundary right here that I just built. I can click on that and pull that boundary back or I can completely delete it. See how it deleted it? There's lots of different things you can do here. Say I want to add a point there, drop it and it drops it right there. Okay, I'm going to choose uh, auto route up top here not manual click auto choose the field tim sheep hit edit route spacing let's do 24 margins zero we can come in at advance i'm going to hit route and boundary it's going to fly the straight lines first and then do a boundary pass on the outside paint it in. I'm going to hit single side spraying. So when it goes down to the end of its row and it turns to go to the next, it's going to turn the outside nozzles on to spray that outside row. I can change the course angle of the direction that the drone flies if I choose to do so, or I can keep that turned on and the computer will figure out what is the best angle to fly. So you see it right here. Uh, I turned that off. The angle changes. 
turn it on, the angle will be the best for how the field is built. So once I get that done, I hit save, B, get out of here. I hit use, and I come in here and I choose how many gallons an acre I want. Right now, I can see that I have a task area, 3.97 acres, so four acres. I'm going to say I want, say 15 gallons an acre. It's going to tell me how many gallons I need. Right here on the top right corner, it says 59.51 gallons total solution is what I'm going to need to do this. I'm going to choose my droplet size, choose 300, flight speed. That's as fast as it's going to fly going forward at 15 gallons an acre. If I move this up, say I do 20 gallons an acre, you see how the flight speed dropped down to 9.5? It can only fly that fast, pumping out 6.33 gallons per minute. That's max flow with the four sprinklers on it. So I'm going to come back to 15 gallons an acre, and then I can now bump this up. I can try to put 22 in there, but it's not gonna let me. It's like, no, that's all I can do. I can only do 12.7 feet per second, spraying 15 gallons an acre, which is 6.3 gallons per minute. My crop height, I'm going to choose 10 feet. I hit that, and then my route spacing is 24. That's what I'm going to choose. I got, that, got all those parameters set in there and ready to go. I hit start. Once I hit that swipe, it's going to count down and it's going to take off. That's how easy that is. Just got done doing is spraying pasture ground with the drones. I think it's going to be a big thing uh, for these drones to do is pasture ground because it's hard to reach. It's it's oftentimes it's ugly, that type of stuff. If you guys are looking to get into this where you have your own custom spray rig, get a hold of us, newwayag.com. Get this complete rig. I made it easy where you don't have to think what all the things are that you need to get started. But uh, that's all we got for you guys on this video. Thanks so much. Make sure to hit that subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share it with your buddies, and we'll see you guys on the next one.